I would like to read the verse two of Vilap Gusmanjali. And it is in Mangala Archana, the second verse of the Mangala Archana. The first verse well, of Mangala Archana is addressed to Guru. And this second verse is addressed to the Ishtadev. And yes, I appreciate this verse very much. So I read it. Oh, Salaka Kamalini. Perfetto. Malent Lotus. It is fitting that you are laughing very proudly through your flower bunches since though all the flowers in the forest are anointed with fragrance, the black bee Krishna leaves them now to search for you only. So it's the Mangala Archana to the Ishtadev. And Sri Radhika is addressed as a land lotus. And there is a hint in it, which will be revealed later on. And they said that Sri Radhika is laughing, laughing very proudly through your flower bunches, since though all the flowers in the forest are anointed with fragrance, the black bee Krishna leaves them now to search only for you. Rupa Manjari and flower bunches are flower bunches are gopis. Yes, flower bunches are the gopis. And also the gopis of the rival group of Chandravali. And they are also very uh, different variety. Hmm? Hmm. All are in the bunches. Favorable or not favorable. But they leave all flower and Krishna leave all want them. to go to the main. Only to yes. Radhika. To practice how he will leave us. This is the meaning that if you are in Gopi Bhav, not come to Radha Dasi, then you, in the, he will leave all the flowers because he want to go to land lotus. The birth. Shall I read further on? And uh, we practice flower, flower. We uh, stay up to Gopi Bhav. Gopi Bhav is soul consciousness. Soul only knows the super soul. But this Gopi is, Krishna is not coming to them. Not get the chance even to see Krishna. Because Krishna wants to go to Lord Land Lotus. Yeah, go on. Rupa Manjari and Tulsi were peeking inside a cave of Govardhan Hill to enjoy a glimpse of Radha and Krishna's sweet love play. They were peeking inside a cave of Govardhan Hill to enjoy a glimpse of Radha and Krishna's This is the gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Rupa and Rati Manjali. 
and the manjari can see that. This eye is only for manjari. How to fix my nature, myself in a thai bhav of manjari bhav. Radha Das. Hmm? At the climax of which Krishna fainted of love excitement, the transcendental, useful Cupid of Rendavan is beside himself of ecstasy because of the wonderful ingredients of Sri Radha's Madana Maha Bhav. Sri Radhika becomes very proud of her victory, accepting the mood of Madhyata, Krishna is mine, in which uh -huh. the heroine controls the hero. Varanga Sunda, who like to explain, like they can explain. Lord, if I wanted to ask you something about this Madana Mahabha, we have read that that is the highest, uh, one of the highest feelings when they are together. And it's like there's Adiroda Bhav, it's called, and Madana Bhav or Madana Mahabhav and Mohana Mahabhav. And I understand that these are feelings when they are together. Like when Srimati Radhika forgets that she is Radharani or Krishna forgets that he is Krishna. Or Srimati Radhika is having the feelings that there is a separation, although they are meeting and all this kind of feelings are coming. So is there a special? Yeah, the Please, you need to finish. What do you want to? Say. I wanted to ask you if, if there is a special feeling that is included in this Madana. We know Mohana means the illusion and Madana is, I, I understand that there are different feelings while they are together and it refers also to our meditation in Karma Gayatri. Yes, please go, Ranga. If you if you would enlighten us a little bit on this, I would be so happy to listen. Radhe, Radhe, maybe it's better that Gurudev say about this. I'm sorry, but actually, I say you just what I realize. All right, Gurudev, I will try my best for your pleasure and the pleasure of the gopis. One line I say, and you say, yes. Mata, Mohan, he attracts uh, even the Kamadev and in living soul, he attracts. This is the Krishna nature. If you know your soul, but you make mad to all living beings, to gopis who realize the soul consciousness. But Radhika attracts, who attracts whole universe, he become mad when he feels the Radhika name. He is in ecstasy. He cannot control himself. 
Now you explain more details. So we can say that proper worship of Krishna is only possible Kama Gayatri and Kama Bij Mantra. And it's confirmed in Chaitanya Charitamrita that the only proper way to worship Krishna in Vrindavan, Rajendranandan, through Kama Gayatri and Kama Bij Mantra. So when Gurudev say about explanations of Madana, that Krishna is making the mad and madana, everyone. In Vraja, especially Gopis, but in the same time, he is becoming mad by Radhika's madness. Only someone who is more mad can put someone in a madness. Radhika is more mad of love for Krishna than Krishna is. And understanding this her madness, he wants to relish this Madana Mahabha and is becoming Goranga. This Madana Mahabha is very nicely explained, like Suniti mentioned in Chaitanya Charitamrita, between different kinds of bhavas, Rudani, Ruda, and so on. But we can see that only Radhika from all gopis has this kind of madness, Madana, Mahabhava. What does it mean actually, Madana Mahabhava? It's very easy to say on Sanskrit, but what does it mean? Actually, all emotions which exists in spiritual world, all opposite emotions, all emotions which are compatible, they are existing in one person. And this is Radhika. So we can imagine, we can try to imagine, or maybe we cannot imagine. What does it mean to have all existing emotions in what in one personality? To the full extent full potency <laughs> because we know that gopis are radicus expansions and these expansions each gopi represents one of radicus main bhava main feeling for example vishaka is very mild lalita is very sharp and so on and so on. But all these feelings from all different gopis, unlimited gopis, are present only in one person. Shimateratara. So she is completely in the ocean, drowned in the ocean of her own madness, of love for Krishna, and this is so attractive for Mohan that first of all he became Mohan completely confused, fainting. He is becoming more sweeter, more beautiful, and even he cannot tolerate such intensity of Madana. Mahabha. And this is very provoking for him. 
how I cannot feel these opposite waves, high waves of Mahabhav, of my beloved Radhika, when they are crashing to each other. Can we imagine opposite feelings are crashing like the waves which are crashing and making the ocean of rasa completely mad. And because of that, Krishna is saying, I want to taste a little, at least a little bit. <laughs> I'm fortunate to about this. It's completely I, strange to me. Foreigner. Yeah. To understand what why I I make create the madness to others and why Radhika make mad to me. So this way he took the shelter to run. Learn the feelings of life, Titan. Yes. And the best way how he can grasp <coughs> one drop of this Madhana Bhakabhava is through the feeling of separation. Viraha or Vipralamba like we know. So this is the way how he is relishing this Radha Bhava or Radha Madana Mahabhava. And he couldn't, actually, he couldn't relish completely. So he needs to go Nitya, Nitya Lila, to perform Nitya Lila, Nitya Lila, Nitya Gora Lila, to relish more, to relish more, to do different universes. And although he is going through all universes, he is still missing this drop of Madana Mahabhav. And he was so merciful that he gave opportunity to all jivas to be close and to serve intimately personification of Madana Mahabha. This is Audarya of gracefulness of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which never happened before, and it will never happen later on. Someone said after 2014 yugas, Kali yugas, or so on, 24, 28, doesn't matter, it's so long. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there is a two bhavas. He's trying to relish Madana Maha Bhava from Radhika, or shortly we say Radha Bhava. But devotees know which kind of Radha Bhava. But he knows that no one can become Radha. So, very mercifully, he said, the best way to relish Radhika's mood, beauty and sweetness is to become her dasi. He also became Radha dasi manjari. And through Rupa, Ragunata, he distributed to all the world, to all jivas, and our beautiful 
successors, which are coming from Rupa Anuga devotees. So in this verse, we can see what does it mean, full Kripa. Rupa gave full Kripa to Rati Manjari to relish this beautiful position of Radhika in the middle of so many flowers, gopis, how Krishna, like Guru Dev said, if you want to be Saki, he will leave you <laughs> sooner or later. And he will run for the manjaris, after manjaris, and plead them, please give me opportunity to be at least one moment with my beloved Radhika. So we can see here, I'm very happy that Sudhavi chose these words because it's so many important things are inside. But I will not speak of that. And I just want to say something about this Madan Mahabal which is coming now. It's not possible without most intense feeling of you are mine. Sakis are also have this kind of feeling, you are mine. Parents also have this kind of feeling, you are mine. But feeling you are mine in Radhika is not comparable with anything, with anyone. And this is complete madness. Which madden him who madden all the world. I said, God, I'm sorry. Wonderful. Thank you, Gauranga Sundana. One can really hear that you are very much deep in your bhajan. I don't have bhajan at all. I'm trying to serve at least Kriya. Wow. Radhe, Radhe. Um, maybe I'm not qualified, but the uh, inspiration comes, so may I share about this? Richard Madness Group and Goranga Sundaraji. If I make any mistake, please correct me. Actually, if we want to really know about Madanakya Mahababa, we need Swarupa. Because if we have only material body, this madness is just crazy. That's why I don't want to make misunderstanding about this spiritual material body. But uh, Narottama Dastakru said, just listening, Harikata from Pia Vaishnava. It means Goranga Sundaji says, Rupa Nuga Bhaktas, Radha Dasis. Then we can get a feeling slowly, slowly. Then one day, we, I will understand, I hope one day, understanding by mercy of our Acharyas, like Rupa Gosami, Ragnata Dasa Gosami means by mercy of our Guru Dev and Guru Paramparas, we can meet them. First, we need to improve our feelings, then make more our swarup strong. Then one day we will understand this. Then what we can do now is just listening like a Chaitanya Charitamrita also, Pirapax Manjari also, this feeling also, as it is, no expectation, and just a feeling. That's why um, 
Now, Roland Gassendrage said we need intimation relationship also, Rupa Nuga, back to association also. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just come to my heart, Rade Rade. Only to add that very good, you say, relation with my family. Relation, if it's not with Swamini, Saru will not come. So relation should be of Swamini to bring Majorisa. Radhika's relation. Then question come, if I develop relation with Guru, it will not come. Try and realize its relation should be with my Istade, Radhika. When he, she will mark us that I accept you, then my spiritual constitutional question will come that I am Radha Dasi. In this, if I become Radha Dasi, how my activities will be there? This navigation, Guru will say. When I am in Sadhan there, how to come out in my spiritual body in Sarup, how to fix my relation that I am a Radha Dasi, this also navigates Guru. He is a navigator by his way, by his realization, he shows. But Guru is never good. When goal is not fixed, and I will not say she is mine, then Guru will also not become happy. And my path is not to start. Right. Sri Radhika proudly goes out of the kunj into a neighboring kunj where she makes her girlfriend relish the parihasa rasa, the transcendental flavor of laughter and humor, laughing her varahasya, her exquisite laugh and saying, the beautiful one is mine. Wow. Meanwhile, how, how, how is one pointed that to see? Our one pointedness she is doing and teaching. One point. And laughing. If, and laughing. <laughs> One point is mine. Others say, I am yours. But she said, no, no. She's mine. What the difference between I am yours, you are mine. What you do, I don't bother because you are mine. And when I say I am yours, then I bother what you do for me and you do for others. You, you accept me, you are living with me. 
and I am yours, you have to care me. If you not care me, then I will fight with you. No, no. She said, you are mine. What you do, I feel happy. I don't bother because you're mine. Your happiness is my happiness. Ne? Feel this. Rare person who say you are mine. All say I'm yours. You have to protect and care me. When you say you are mine, you have to protect your love. Because it's mine. I have to care. I have to do everything without any result for that. That is teaching of Radhika. Selflessness. Material world, we learn, I am yours. The spiritual world, Radhika teaching, you are mine. And Gurudev, this moment, although Sri Radhika is very shy. She's proud and she is shy sharing you are. With, with the other gopis. She is shy because you are mine. And what you do, I become shy with that. But you are mine, what to do? Your happiness is my happiness. My own and do any mistake, then I become shy or not. I feel good. So she becomes shy because of his naughtiness. But after that, say, you are mine. What I can do? Your happiness is my happiness. Yes, and how much selflessness is there? I think rare persons practice in life that you are mine. Yeah. So, when we not practice this way, how I can expect my feeling is moving in Dasi Bhav. Dasi has to develop the feelings like the boss. What is the boss feeling? Dasi has to know that and to change her habits. No? I have to change myself to be a Dasi of Radhi. Right? Yes. Radhi, Radhi Guru. There is one story, short yes. story, life story. Life story. <laughs> from Raja, actually. There is one small girl was worshipping Radhika and her relatives came from some other place in India and said, okay, you are living all the life in Vraja, you never went outside. So we are your relatives and we want to bring you with us to travel a little bit around India. But this little girl said, thank you very much. But what my Radhika will do without me? 
ah. who will protect her. She is depending on me. Wow. So I just remember this life story which I heard. This importance of minus. Wow. Yeah. I just want to share. Yeah. You are mine. Right? <laughs> Meanwhile, Krishna awakens from his ecstatic swoon and not seeing his Riyachi anywhere, anxiously starts looking around for her. Through a window in the cave, Rupa Manjari and Tulsi relish the sweet sight of Sundaras, of beautiful Krishna's wonderful emotions when he cannot see their Swamini. For the maid servants, Krishna is most beautiful when he is anxious to meet Sri Radha. Wow. For the maid servant, then is Krishna most beautiful when he is anxious for to meet Sri Radhika. And for Gopi, Gopi, what is that? That when Gopi is happy, when Krishna comes to meet Gopi, and others become jealous. This is Gopi Bhav. Why Krishna go to this Gopi? Not to me, why? This is the difference between Manjari of selflessness and pure love. Gopis are hiding, not talking that Krishna is there. Even the Radhika, is hiding with his friend. Radhika. Now they become a really, a really game. With the brushes of their love, the manjaris make a picture of this eagerness on the canvas of their hearts and carry it to Sri Radha to show it to her when she is separated from Shyama Sundara. May I read it again, this line? Read it again. With the what brushes the of their love. Read again. With the brushes of their love, the manjaris make a picture of this eagerness on the canvases of their hearts and carry this picture to Sri Radhika to show it to her when she is separated. Yeah. You see, feel, feel this. If you not feel, how you will understand. And feeling is realization. How much time you take to feel it, that the moment is realization. So easy, so simple. 
repeat and repeat and understand yourself. And when you, the feeling will come, you will understand. Right? Not feeling is coming. Means it's a little more time, bhajan requires. Understand? That, that's a Prabhupada intent. It's slow, but it's steady. That extent. Slow, very slowly, I understand, realize it. But it's sure one day will come by this listening, listening, and chanting circle. But the clear happen. You can feel it and see it. Is a nice run. It's a nice run. It's not a natural. What we practiced before, it was unnatural. And this is natural because soul can give it a sharup or anything. Give us. It's yesterday, form. We want to live in without form and not form of the yesterday. That is the time taking. Why? Because we make the goal to Guru Dev. So what is the business to one I know Diva? And when you know my sarup, my form, then I have to know the goal of my life, super soul and his form, super goal of life and his form. This is the meaning of this issue. And then you see Te Sam Satat Uttana. When you know yourself and you know him also, Satat Yutta means together. Satat Yuttana. Yutta means I am not separate with him because my heart, mind, and soul all fix one point. Then they said, Dharati Buddhi Yogam. Then I give you the intelligence to move on. Right. Without this intelligence, not comes. Knowledge comes, but intelligence not In this way, the Manjaris render wonderful prasanga service to Srimati. Ah, How? Prasanga means what is the meaning? What is the circumstances? 
What is now she needs? What is the Mandaris know what Srimati needed, although Srimati yeah. can't say it by herself, but the, the Mandaris feel it, and Srimati is mad for for heartache of separation, and the Mandaris reveal the, the picture they have brushed into their hearts by seeing Krishna, who is anxious for seeing Sri Radhika. Right? This is the devotion of Mandi. Right? Feeling and doing that. And what is the vegan? I don't want to feel you. I want to feel myself and my body and health. And I will do what health and body is starting to do. And you have to accept it. Right? This is my vegan concept. To say, because it's very important in Western art, vegan. We make one story, my heart is very bad, milk is very bad, and then I have to prepare something to protect myself that I don't want to be a devotee, devotion. I want to be a vegan. Means I want to do what I like. If you are God, or you are Krishna, or you are my best friend, you have to follow my dad. If I don't like milk, I will not give you. If I don't like milk, I will not give you. No, no, I like that. No, no, this is not true. Understand? That is what say you are maybe my, but you have to follow my way because Japanese is sushi, Japanese is what? What you say? Not to, I eat that, you have to eat that, then you are my, right? Right? <laughs> this is my condition. It's very heavy hammering for devotion, I'm telling you. It's not devotion. Sorry, I know that many are following this vegan concept, but it is not Jewish. Yes, good. And it's not only the veganism. I think Srila Prabhupada mentioned it many times in his book. It is all kinds of ism that we are creating in our human desires to do the right thing, but it's not connected to the pleasure of, you know, Yuga Lakeshore, then it's not... I do know the... My Swami. Yuga Lakeshore said that Kishore will catch you. <laughs> that is not... My okay. <clears throat> no, I and another thing... Yes. What could it? You are right, but I said it will not hit me. But, no, but, I like your chastisement. It's always good. 
Mm-hmm. And uh, Prasanga Seva Gurudev, I hear also, I read a very nice explanation in one of Anantatas Babaji's uh, purports. He is saying it is a conversational service. And this conversation that the mantra is that we are doing is to please Radhika in the moment that what kind of feeling is helping her. Like uh, Sudevi said so nicely, when uh, Swamini is feeling uh, separation, oh, then they take one picture. Do you remember when you were together and how he looks then? And just imagine, he will. He is eager for you now. It will only, you know, and then they create, they crystallize these feelings with their words. Yeah. And I was, I was meditating about this, Gurudev. What does it mean also for our human, um, you know, in our sadaka dehas when we are living here and now? And we are not constantly in our in our uh, meditations. But I feel that this practicing of prasanga seva now in my sadhaka body is also important because the words that I use and the consciousness that I have is coming, you know, through the mouth and it's creating and it's doing something with myself and with others. That's why, Gurudev, you are always teaching us to be positive. Mm. On the human level, this prasanga seva, I would say, it is to be positive and to always see everywhere the thing that is, you know, creating positivity. <clears throat> that means to connect with love, to connect with a, in a loving way with all living entities. And then when we go further, if we are, if I am always connected with Swamini, then it can kind of merge because I have learned how to become positive. I have learned how to live in a loving mood, in loving words. And then I can connect to Swamini more easy, also in a deeper level, in my service as her Darcy. Very nice. Beautiful. Very nice. Yes. Uh-huh. So she is always in your presence and she is the one, she is always there. No other desires are coming. One pointedness. In Siddha Deha or Sadhguru. Yes. Go on. In this way, the Manjaris render wonderful Prashanga service to Srimati. How blessed they are that they can say, Orade, out of separation from you, Shyam is also very upset. Wow. See that. And uh, a quote from Gita Govinda, for your sake, he has given up his beautiful home and lives in a forest abode. He rolls around on the bed of the earth and loudly laments, crying out your name. Ah. He looks down the road for you to come, saying, hi, hi, with faltering voice and agitated heart. And he thinks one moment without you lasts a million ages. Although Sundara looks in all four directions, he cannot find his Priyaji. So he gets up from the play bed 
and comes out of the cave to have a good search for her. Then the wind of Rindavan carries the full weight of Sri Radhika's fragrance into his nostrils and tells him, Oh, go, Black Bee, don't be upset. The land lotus is not far away anymore. Wow. So nice. Wow. The wind has made his name Gandavaha, carrier of fragrances, effective. Wow. Madhusudana's nose can specifically testify of that. When Nagara eagerly runs after that fragrance, eager to meet his Priyaji, he meets Padma and Saiba, the girlfriends of Radhika's arch rival Chandravali on the way. They try to lure him away but he ignores them and continues his search for Sri Radhika, casting his glance in the direction where he smells her delictable scent. Rupa Manjari and Tulsi secretly follow Nagara and become very proud of their Swamini's prestige when they see how eager Krishna is to meet her. Suddenly, Nagara notices that Rupa and Tulsi are following him. And he comes to them and asks them with folded hands, O Rupa, O Tulsi, your mistress tricked me and is hiding out somewhere leaving me behind. Although I can smell her fragrance, I cannot see her. You must certainly know where my beloved is. Quickly take me to her. That is the speciality of the maidservants of Sri Radhika the supreme person who is sought for by the Vedas is now folding his hands before Radhika's kinkaris and humbly prays to them, come, arrange for me meeting with your Swamini. I have no other shelter but you girls. Bless oh. Is the position of Radhika's king carries. You see, this is the position of Radhika's king. So, what Krishna is telling, repeat this last paragraph. Yes. Oh, Rupi, oh, Tulsi, your mistress tricked me and is hiding out somewhere, leaving me behind. Although I can smell her fragrance. I cannot see her. You, you maidservants, must certainly know where my beloved is. Quickly, take me to her. That is the speciality of the maidservants of Sri Radhika. That supreme person who is sought for by the Vedas is now folding his hands before Radhika's kinkaris and humbly prays to them, come, arrange for me meeting with your Swamini. I have no other shelter but you girls. Blessed is the position of Radhika's wow. kinkaris. Gaur Sundara. Gaur Sundara. Radhe Radhe. 
<laughs> Explain this line. Again, read true. to God as Sundar. Again and again, read. No, listen first. Listen, read. Come arrange for me meeting with your Swamini. I have no other shelter but you girls. So, so from you. beginning, let's start. Yes. Europa or Tulsi, your mistress tricked me and is hiding out somewhere, leaving me behind. Although I can smell her fragrance, I cannot see her. You, you maidservants, must oh. certainly know where my beloved is. Quickly take me to her. That is the speciality of the maidservants of Sri Radhika. That supreme person who is sought for by the Vedas is now folding his hands before Radhika's kinkaris and humbly prays to them, come, arrange for me meeting with your Swamini. I have no other shelter but you girls. So today we listen that how many people are depending on, on the manjaris? There are Krishna is depending on them. And Radhika is depending on them. And we are in the same position. We also depend on these manjaris. That they take us by the hand and give us this, I will not say job, but service. this service. To take in the same position that they that we can serve them and that they depend on us so that we can say to you are mine. So nobody can take care for Radhika when she become this madness, we have to take care of her. Nobody can arrange the meeting. It's only the Manjaris are doing this. So also Krishna is depending on us. So we have a big responsibility. They all depend on our service. This is a big switch to understand this. From, from the point of, please give me this and please give me that. On this, that we are ready for the service and that we arrange everything for, for them. And we can start also in the Sadak Deya to do this. We can do all arrangement. There is no need to wait for the next life. We can start here. Just now. In this moment, we can do this. And we can feel it. We come in this position. This is an inside feeling. This is not uh, needs no time. We can start just now. If we feel really that we are Manjari, immediately we come on this position and we can feel her, what she is needed. Because we meditate on this. The full day we are meditating what is Swamini needed? What is also, how, what can we do that they meet together? Because this is Swamini's biggest desire. And also Krishna's biggest desire is to meet. And in this meeting then, these great souls, they, they get this Ananda, what is uh, quality of the soul. And when they are together, they can feel this highest ananda. And this is what Mahabhav can give to Krishna. 
And it's only happen when they are together, 100%. And we take a big part of this. We take the responsibility. And then in that moment, we also get this ananda, this 100% yeah. satisfaction of the soul. And perhaps we are really needed. We are, as I mentioned, we are needed. <laughs> yeah, that was the subject also yesterday on the, the Russian Zoom, that we are really needed. It's not just like, okay, let's, let's feel good about being needed. <laughs> it's a real, it's a reality because Radha and and Mohan, they become so absorbed in their meeting that they forget everything around them and they are completely helpless in that situation. And the Mandaris, this Dhammada Prabhu was telling so nicely, one of the beautiful qualities of the service of the Mandaris is they have a stability while Radha and Mohan go completely crazy. They lose themselves in each other. They become one. And their hair gets entangled and so many things. There's wet drops and the makeup and whatever can happen, it happens. And then the maid servants, they are completely surrendered to service of Swamini and they will do what is needed and therefore they are needed. Wow. Needed. Therefore, Suniti did it. Needed. <laughs> you record me. Needed. We are needed to you. Krishna, you need me. Why, <laughs> yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's another point of view, right? <laughs> Radhe, Radhe, what a gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We have to cry for this gift. We have to melt for, for this gift. This is the great mercy of Chaitanya. So, so there we have an tiger. You are so lucky. They walk and come to you by your love. Yes, <laughs> they need you. <laughs> uh oh. It never happened that this realization come to you. And this is the success of the human life that we understand this. Your life means never again go in the circle of death and birth. Die. You will keep it on. You will be Always in that Kalila Provist. Always you will be in the right place in this world. And I pray for me that also it happens to me. <laughs> that I am trying to learn this, realize it, bless me that I can also do with uh, something that can be fixed in my life. But still, I see myself like a ping pong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Your humility is so attractive. I, I say marginal. Then Balram said, no, marginal, no. Ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> This word is very good, ping-pong. 
<laughs> I say marginal, but you don't know, ping and pong, ping and pong. Then it's very, really hammering to the mind how we will be only ping pong or something will set down. <laughs> Is a rupa. Radhe Radhe. My Mahatma comes. He is the one of the Rasik Mahatma. Only he don't want to learn English for us. Gurudev, у меня есть одно дополнение. Можно, может быть, кто-то переведет меня. Рада Тиран, рады, рады. Рады. Выключи наушники. Говорина. Здесь меня слышно? Ага. Ну, чтобы тебя другие слышали. Ну, рады, рады. Говори. Да, и, и вот у, у меня такая идея, я э, два раза переслушал в Кизум сегодня с утра и там рано утром. И я могу, ну, как бы, не знаю, либо это как вызов, либо как утверждение, которое я, я готов доказать его и там на следующем зуме, на следующей неделе. У меня есть аргументы в книгах Ананта Дасбабаджи, что Рады Гавинда постоянно объединены. Постоянно. И кто, кто утверждает, что они... Постоянно что? Подожди, подожди. Постоянно что? Рады. А, пацаны пьянен. Они, они и Рада, и Говинда. Чила Гурудеев, Рада Говинда, он говорит, He is uh, listening again and again our Zooms and he wants to say what it, he doesn't know how, how to define what he wants to say. It's, but he wants to, he, he can prove from the books of Ananta Babaji Maharaj what Krishna has always drunk from Srimati Radhika. Well, it's mm -hmm. crazy from her. Uh, Radha Govinda, what's the next step? Yeah, I believe that those who те, кто заявляют, что они находятся, ну, могут они в какой-то адекват входить, а это люди, которые, у которых нет никаких даршинов. Я заявляю, я, я могу это доказать, я на, на следующем русском зубе, я приведу стих группы Госвами, где будет это сказано. И мой опыт, да, сегодняшний личный опыт, что, ну, рада тиран, ты должен проникнуться. Представляешь, что абсолют любит. Это значит, вот мы сейчас вот, мы любим этот круг, и там через два часа мы пошли любить такого, да, пошли любить еду, мороженое, жиду, собаку. А они постоянно, им никуда не надо спешить. Они постоянно опьянены, они, они не выходят из этого состояния. And uh, that person who is telling what he can be normal, not so much emotional, this means he has not any darshan of Krishna, because Krishna is always in Umada. He is so much drawn from Shemati Radhika Slav. Uh, how possible to be uh, not so emotional if you can see this? Radha Govinda Ji. Yeah. I will tell you what you said. And the last citation is that а, вот, вот этот дар, о котором говорил Гурудев, да, выше, там, пять минут назад, что дар читания Махапрабу, что все, все игры Рады Говинды, это, по сути дела, творят, устраивают, да, это Манжери и бабушка Пурнамаси. And what you told Shri Gurudev just few minutes ago about the gift uh, of Shri Chitani Махапрабу, uh, is this what Uh, Manjari is doing, they are uh, creating uh, so many miracles with, uh, means these lilas 
Radha Krishna's Radha Mohan's Leela's uh, Manjaris and Purnamasi. Gurudev, правильно Поправьте меня. Gurudev, Radha Govinda is asking, is his uh, understanding is correct? Yeah, yeah, very nice. Он говорит, что да. Рады, рады. Сори. Рады, рады, Фундам. Мои тали хридда есть. Он ли, да? Он ли, рады, рады. А что говорит, я перевел. So may I read further on? Yeah. Seeing the anxiety of our hero, Rupa and Tulsi leave him standing there and go to the Kunj where Swamini is laughing and joking with her girlfriends about her victory and Krishna's defeat. In this way, Tulsi offers Sarasa Vandana witty praises to her Ishtadev, to her favorite deity, standing before her Swamini. This is also called Mangala Archana or an auspicious invocation. As is customary in Vaishnava tradition, the opening verse of a devotional book is a prayer to the Guru, and the second verse is a prayer to the Ishtadev, to the favorite deity. Why? Why first is for Guru? Second is for Sister Perhaps Guru is our navigator to navigate us to our Ishtadev. Wow. Beautiful. His navigation is so correct to bring to the point. Not confuse to reach to my Istadev. It's not easy to reach to Istadev. Thirty years you practice, you cannot reach. And he is so merciful, he immediately helped me to bring to the final goal. Not many stairs to walk. He jump me and bring to the highest right place. Understand? Yes, and, and we really need the Kripa of Guru. Yeah. If not, then 20 years I practice, but no understanding career. So I pray first to this navigator who open my vision for my goal. I always say, he is today with first in life, that is Kamsarup. But who show the goal is, is today? That is navigator. If Guru is goal, then what is why to pray first to him? He has to be second. No, he is the navigator. His navigation is so sharp. I want to jump here and there and there and there, but she requests to sit till the flight is not landing. And we sit because of I, I hypnotized by my Gurudev. 
Yes. There is a quotation from Chaitanya Charitamrita. In the beginning of this book, I make a Mangala Archana in which I remember the spiritual master, the Vaishnavas and the Lord. Remembrance of these three will destroy all obstacles to spiritual life and will easily fulfill all sacred desires. In the first verse, Srila Raghunath Das Goswami in his Swarup Avesh reveals the super excellence of his guru through some rasika joking kind of praise. And in this second verse, he reveals the super excellence of his Ishtadev Sri Radhika in the same way. Rupa and Tulsi enter into the Kunj and seeing a land lotus before them, praise Swamini by saying, O land lotus, it is fitting that you laugh so proudly for the Krishna bee leaves all the other fragrant flower like gopis to search for you only. There is there in the transcendental Sringara Ras in the Amaras kingdom of Radha and Krishna, everything is full of jokes and laughter. Quotation from Brahma Samhita. In the spiritual Goloka planet, every word is a song and every step is a dance. Can there be any doubt that the words of activities, that the words and activities of the Sakis and Manjaris, who are non different from the Yuga Lakishora, 
that always swims in the ocean of Sringara Rasa are also filled with the Sringara Parihasa Rasa, the flavors of erotic humor. The Raga Bhakti practitioner will also become qualified to make such transcendental romantic jokes if he engages in hearing and chanting of these sweet sentiments, gradually becoming completely absorbed in them. The fact that Swamini is here addressed as land lotus indicates that she is not close to the Shama ocean of Rasa. The word Kamala means water flower, Ka means water, and Mala dirt. But here she is named Stala Kamalini, land lotus. And Tulsi uses this word to encourage Sri Radha the land lotus, Radha land lotus, to go into the ocean of Shyam, to go and meet him. And she herself also very much likes to witness that sweet meeting. The words Gavita Kananis Min show that Sri Radha's pride of her fortune of being Shyama Sundara's most dearly beloved in Sri Vrindavan is justified because she alone is endowed with the unique Madana Mahabhav. The words show that Krishna clearly abandoned Chandravali's assistants Padma and Saiba on the way. Although Chandravali and Asayuteshwari's Gopi group leaders are clearly scented with the fragrance of Mahabhav, the Madana Mahabhav of Sri Matiradika is most capable of subduing the Krishna black bee. That is shown in this verse. Some consider this verse to be Sri Pats addressing Sri Rupa Manjari in Swarupa Vesh. This explanation is also endorsed by the Mahatmas. When Sri Rupa Manjari heard herself praised in the first verse, a smile blossomed on her face. Seeing this, Tulsi addressed a blooming land lotus before her and praised her Guru Devi once more by revealing the glories of her beauty and fortune. Sri Vishwanatha Chakravati glorifies the beauty of the Manjaris as follows in his Krishna Bhavanamrita. Each line on these Manjaris' toes defeats the bright splendor of the lightning. They are cleverness personified, and although they are qualified, to be Gopi group leaders, they have no taste for this at all. They are always immersed in the nectar ocean of Sri Radhika's service. In other words, they are always so enthusiastic about their devotional service that they even consider friendship with Sri Radha to be insignificant. Although 
Shri Radha is her superior, Tulsi, or Shri Raghunath Das Goswami, makes light jokes with her here in his Swarup Avesh, as if she is equal to her, calling her Saki, and at the same time reveals her boundless glories. I, Lent Lotus, jewel of all flowers of Rindavan, on the pretext of making your cluster of flowers blossom, you are laughing excessively. This is justly done, and therefore everyone calls you Garavani, proud girl. Because this Krishna believes all the other wine's company, although they are all very fragrant and constantly searches down the road for you, you have become very proud. And the first was O oh, Stala Kamalini, O oh, Lent Lotus. It is fitting that you are laughing very proudly through your flower bunches, since though all the flowers in the forest are anointed with fragrance, the black bee Krishna leaves them now to search. For you only. Thus ends a commentary on this verse 2 of Vilapa Kusmanjali. Wow. Jai Shri Rani. So, Devi Gita, very nicely, Americans. We have a one more Rasika Bhakta. I show you, you know, he's from Germany. Come, come, give to look. Hey, Rade, Rade. Go, Nahari, you made it. Very nice. He doesn't like it, Guruji, to be seen. <laughs> He's too shy, Guruji. He's a very Rasika Bhakta. I see him very Bhajanandi and very fixed. You're lucky that he is in Aventoya. Very nice. Very good so. Very mm -hmm. kind to me. Radhe Radhe Guru Dev. Yeah, say, Bhaiya, you are Mona, why not say <laughs> you are also Rati I just wanted to paint again a picture. Um, this verse is wonderfully showing the greatness of Swamini in different aspects. First of all, my God. the The party of Chandravali has no chance, is out immediately. This is just on the side. But they are also friends with Radhika. And they are also friends who actually would like to meet this bee, this Krishna. So 
But actually, what is Swamini doing? After letting Muham fall in ecstasy and unconscious even, she is going to another kunj where the friends are waiting. And now she's making jokes. She is not saying, I was there and I defeated him. She is making jokes. It just seems that it could be. It's not that she is proudly saying, I did it. She's just making a joke. In this way, she is joking with the other girlfriends and they have a very nice time with Swamini and they are laughing together. So uh, they are in, in uh, so they are in a, in, in a very nice uh, mood of joking and uh, Pariha. Pariha-sras. So actually, uh -oh. that's the second defeat. But Gentlemen. on the top of this, in the same time, on another place, Mohan is running completely mad, searching for her. So in the same moment, these jokes prove to be truth. It's the truth. What Swamini is saying is the absolute truth. He is mine. This is the absolute truth. If somebody else is saying it, it may be some truth, but it's not the absolute truth. But Radharani is Radha. telling the absolute truth because who is the owner of this be? And then another point. It's showing the absolute outstanding position of the mandari. Because in this state of consciousness, he has no other chance to meet Radharani again, but by taking shelter by the mandari. So this is victorious verse. It's victorious, 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 and victorious. It's complete victory, this verse. So it's the culmination of all victory of Radhika and also her maidservants. Jai Shri Radha. Wow. So Wow, so beautiful. Suniti. Suniti ki jai. Jai ho. Gauranga sundara ki jai. All ki jai. Always make jai of Manjari. <laughs> Guru Manjari ki jai. Radha <laughs> Govindas Baba ji ki jai. Jai ho. He is the Manjari. I am trying to learn still. I have no asai mm -hmm. Bing pong is still there. 
one thing. Uh, what we are reading today? Oh, this morning, you mean, Gurudev? Sixty-five. You will see that underline. What yes, is that? Is in Siddha there and in Sadhan there. When we go in this practice, very, very interesting. I send all underline to you. Yes, I read it this morning, Gurudev. This uh, very special, very, very beautiful. What is happening in Sadhan Deha and Siddha Deha? Very deep subject. Should I read something? Early? No, you Shortly? read. All read. Who likes, you can send underline that. And yeah, then I can send. Uh -huh. Who wants, if they will write you, then send them. Then you see and meditate, then keep this subject, then I can explain you. Mm -hmm. To understand is very nice. Why not? When there is a key, you can open the door. And if you have no key, then you cannot open even your car. About any door you cannot open because key is not there. So how you will understand you have a key or not? <laughs> I went to a church in Hungary. Then I say you this. And then it is a very small and old church. There was two angels. One angel has a in hand key. Top is the bird, bird fly, blood, bird, bird. Like white, the white one. No? White, white one. one. But white. Yes. And one side was balanced. I sit and he start meditating. Priest was there. I asked, what is the meaning of this? He said, a very 500-year-old picture. I mean, we only meditate and pray. I said, 500-year-old, there is something meaning behind that. Then by the grace, I realized something. We lose our key, and that key is the bird, soul, in art bhutas, mahabhutas. <laughs> this is the mahabhutas. <laughs> this is the create, creation, Krishna created with eight mahabhutas. You have to search about the mahabhutas. <laughs> My God, <laughs> I'm teaching two girls in Hindi about Bhagavad Gita. I said, this is the thing to understand. If you understand, you will understand devotional practice. What is Mahabhutas? You know, Bhutas means ghost. One ghost, when catch, the person becomes mad. And when the eight, eight Mahabhutas, biggest ghost, capture what happened to these crazy people. So this is our situation. Not one, eight Mahabhutas is created <laughs> in this material world. Everyone is infected with these eight Mahabhutas. And to bring out from this is your soul and sarup. Then devotion start. If we devote, devotion start, all this become crystal clear. Sharanagati start. 
if it's not sarnagati is not devotion not loving service again we come in in my body and mahabhuta sketch me they are very powerful they have a place in material world you cannot deny it very beautiful now they start understanding shrimad bhagavat this girl they read and say i understand now i said what well, before they are not relating when they know the mahabhutas they understand it very easy <laughs> and they start explaining everything i say you learn now you read everything you will be clear they are is studying in ninth class tenth class village girl and they start talking in bhagavat shrimad bhagavatam i say meditate four days very mahabhuta is catching you and when you can see him then the what happen you go to the uh, and powerful person they see that ghost and then they remove that that when you will see then you can remove it if you not see they will play game and inside us this is the thing so they they start looking and they start understanding shrimad bhagavatam i surprise Right here. So it's a very good and learning from me. Why it takes long time? <laughs> Because we not understand our Mahabhuta sketching, and we like to enjoy in material circumstances. Right, right.